is no more but so. Say, tis done. I shall love thee, <coughs> prefer thee too. Tis done, my lord. <coughs> my lord, I have considered in my mind the late demand you did sound me in. Well, let that pass. Dorset's fled to Richmond. Uh, I hear that news, my lord. Stanley, he's your wife's son. Well, look to it. My lord, I claim your gift, my due by promise, that by which your honor and faith is pawned. The elder of Hereford and the movables, that which you promised I should possess. Stanley, look to your wife. If she convey letters to Richmond, you'll answer for it. What says your highness to my just request? As, as I do recall, Henry VI did once prophesy that, uh, that Richmond should be king when Richmond was but a little peevish boy. I mean, a king. A king? Oh, perhaps. Well, perhaps. My lord! How chance it that that prophet could not at that time have told me, I being by, that I should kill him? My lord, your promise for the earldom. Richmond! When I was last at Exeter, the mayor, in courtesy, he showed me a castle. He called it Rougemont. And I started. A bard of Ireland, see, he once told me, you shall not live long once you have seen Richmond. My lord! What's o'clock? My lord, I am thus bold to put in mind the gift you did promise me. Aye, but what's o'clock? By the stroke of ten. Why then let it strike? Why let it strike? Because that like a jack thou keeps the stroke betwixt thy begging and my meditation. I am not in the giving vein. 